Hello. Okay. Hi everyone. It's us. The we're the the acolyte. What what are we? We don't have the a... acolyte acolytes. No, the oh, acolytes we of the acolyte. we should call ourselves the power of many because there's five of us. The five ones is what we should. Many. We're in a weird spot for this I... show right now. I don't know anything about this episode, and, and it's a bit of uncharted territory for almost everybody. We got a little bit of parent trap going on where the twins have swapped places. Which and... shouldn't last for any more than five seconds with Soul, but... Oh, it'll be, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, like, can't get past that this was the premise of the show. Like, that it's, oh, <laughs> look, it's twins and one of them's evil. Oh, so oh. the idea of them <laughs> technically Oh, other, look, it's twins it's not and one of them's evil. Thing. The only thing that I think is reliable is probably that one of them will have their entire motivation flip. We already or had both. that happen. Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah, been yeah, that again. so many times. Oh, again. Um, yeah, I, was like, I appreciate yeah. the idea of a prediction there, but May has flipped three times already. Well, maybe it'll be Osha that'll flip this time. <laughs> yeah, that, that would so shake things up. <laughs> really that, cool. Yeah, that was kind of my guess as to what they were going to try to do this episode was now that you have them flipping sides they're going to start to hear from the other side and maybe become sympathetic and oh should be like wow i never really thought about looking at it this way and whereas somebody has to stop soul from coming this in right like that as soon as he oh, comes it in as soon as he okay. gets that there like like that that would blow everything up so put on your shitty writer's hat everyone last we saw him getting real close to the ship the ship has what we call uh communication capabilities no Bo, 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 bo. No, Dwaller, you're already giving them too much credit because at any point they could say the atmosphere of the planet <laughs> forest that so, uh, we're on is such that the AM magnetic. I'm glad you put on your shitty writer's hat, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> ahead of time. Possibilities, I was going to say. What can we highlight? Because they're going to go with one of them. What's going to happen? Is he going to get killed before he reaches the console? Is the console going to be broken? Is the atmosphere. It'd be like, oh, at nighttime on this planet means you can't communicate with anybody. Or, you know what? Carson's asleep. No one's there contact sorry Sol. you have to wait till morning oh another right. option is that oh, the <laughs> may who is osha who's actually may is going to tell him oh we have to go back to get the other one of me so he's like oh okay and so they go back to the forest together she <laughs> like, makes like, um, a heartfelt well, like, I don't think that you guys are spec i think they're just gonna go back to coruscant the two of them and then they're gonna have like and she's gonna go into like the jedi temple or something and then she's gonna see the jedi and be like hmm i'm having second thoughts or something that would be my guess well like i'm more... actually are gonna get there and have a conversation about the sith thing i will argue i'm more cynical words. than that uh, uh, even though you could okay. argue it's more cynical to go either direction, I think it's gonna we're gonna have a really crappy stretch. Uh, uh, and you know what? The most reasonable I can't be saying this, and I have a feeling they might do it. Is uh, Soul is like I just need a moment. I'll I'll be on the ship in a second. And she's like, Yep, okay. And she runs on and she goes into like the engine and tinkers. And then he comes on. And he's he's like, Oh wow, why why isn't the communications I, working? Are you, are you, oh, you forget that they got on the ship in the last episode. They didn't just yes, walk we to were it. Forgetting. They got on it. Okay, whatever. She could still do that. I, well, I'm I, just saying. I, I think that that's conveying that they are actually just going to head off. Like, they're just going to go back to Coruscant. And like then they will could... cast force communication jamming. Well, they could be about Maybe. ready to take off, or they could just leave the planet's atmosphere and then should she do does a bet. the thing that I said. Who, who, but what who are, thinks are they'll come up with something that damages the communications, or they go straight to Coruscant? I don't oh, yeah. think there's any way they're going to Coruscant. I think that there's going to be <laughs> something that comes up, whether it's intentional or just happen, like stupid coincidence happenstance. Something's going to happen where they're not going to Coruscant, and I don't think they're going to be get, getting off a... An actual Here, um we've been on this planet long enough and we need to change scenery i think for that reason alone they are going to coruscant they All have right. to Ooh. have the intermediate period location which is coruscant so that they could then go to the next interchangeable D, &D sci-fi so, bizarre town i'm voting hard on super contrivance to make communications not work I don't, I think I'm mostly aligned with Ryan. I don't think they're going back to cars. And Rags and Fring, you think there's more of a chance that having Theo, you're the deciding vote. Well, not, not that that you actually makes You get to vote on sense. what happens. <laughs> yeah. Please vote wow. on good, so it happens. Uh, Theo already said earlier that he thought it was, he agreed with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and also one of the only things we saw in the trailer that still hasn't happened was Master Vernestra on what looked like a forest planet using her light web. Right. So that has to come at some point. I don't know if that's this episode or next episode. Because we still need a flashback episode thrown in there, right? Like, we're all pretty convinced sure. that we're going to have another guess, flashback okay. episode. It could actually be the flashback, and then at the end of it, the last scene is Soul sort of saying the end of it, and it cuts back to him with with uh, May, right? I, I could, that could be it. But also, I, I, I'm expecting the a bunch of Milo Ren talking about how he's actually the good guy as well.
yeah, the Jedi tricked you, the Jedi are wrong, search your feelings, you know, tap into your anger and your rage, all that kind of bullshit. Mm -hmm. The funny part with all of the conversations surrounding this show, little of it actually has to do with the two main characters, Osha and May. People really don't give a fuck about them. But all the conversations boring. are, yeah, all the conversations are more surrounding. How are they going to wrap this up in a way that doesn't completely and totally shatter the idea of the Sith being discovered and, and stuff like that? I still would put it out there that they've already fucked it up because Soul as a character should have already delivered all the information that would mean Yaddy Mundi can't say what he says in Phantom Menace, nor can the, the Jedi Council conclude what they conclude. Manny Jacinto has confirmed that the stranger in the Acolyte is a Sith Lord. We wanted a character that was not just oppressive and powerful, but when you see him, you feel disturbed by him. <laughs> I mean, I laughed at him. I can tell you want me to be disturbed by him. This That's is funny, sure. isn't it? <laughs> you tried so hard to disturb me that you made me laugh. Please, you can learn from this bad one. What can you say about he's that? A, like, he's a well, tryhard. He's a little tryhard. I mean, he's, he's a 14 year old. He disturbed the silence by making us all laugh. That's true. So, you know, in a sense, he's correct. I, he sent shockwaves uh, through my sternum. I still can't get over the uh, the, the, the breathing that they, they actually are that <laughs> shameless. They give spooky breathing to their bad guys. It's, it's embarrassing. It's so stupid. It's because Star it's Vader. Vader. <laughs> That's peak Star Wars. What are That's you talking you about? Do... When you make a bad guy have it's, a breathing voice. It's bad enough they all have the black outfits. It's bad enough you had the evil red lightsaber and a spooky mask. You go as far as the breathing being altered as well. How you... did he get a lightsaber at all, anyway? Whatever. If he wasn't a Jedi, I mean, Rags, they it? litter planets at this point. They're just everywhere. You know, you loot one off of everybody you find. The Sith did know how to create lightsabers as well. Part of the expectation, I, I think, is we'll find out there's, there's I, shit going on by the end of the season. Yeah, so like, I, I don't think he's the master. Taking him at his word and saying that he is a Sith Lord, I think he's the apprentice. And, okay, so he has a Sith Lord and he's a Sith Lord, but when he had Mei as a student, she wasn't a Sith Lord yet, but she could have been if you put her mind to no, it. No, she was an acolyte, Rags. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you're right. You said, okay, who tried okay. to keep up. I, she's yeah, an a, she is an acolyte. I know it's acolyte confusing. I know, I know that this show is very intelligently written, but... You it know, is. It's like, really you know, complex. Shot. You folks ready? I'm excited to find I'm out ready. how they're dealing with this communication thing immediately. Yeah. Let us... Me too. ...go. What is that? <laughs> the episode that would have convinced everyone that, you know, maybe the show isn't... isn't 100% cringe just because of the lightsabers. That was it. What do you want? I want a pupil. Ah, uh, he's cringe. A pupil. He's I want so a pupil. fucking cringe, dude. What have you done? Have you forgotten who we are? I haven't She's learned who you are. Not. It's been 16 years since I talked to you, bitch. I brainwashed you. <laughs> and how she tries to take her in without having the force. Oh, that's so embarrassing. The haircut. Oh, just brilliant. Why would she, like, lift up her head while she does that? Wouldn't you just, like, move it? Yeah, I mean, you might oh, slice boy. your face off if you do that. Jeez. Yeah. It wouldn't look so incredible. She wouldn't be able to pose like that if she didn't do it. Yeah. So how does... Oh, remind Twilight me... Twilight remind Twilight me Red. about the tattoo? Oh, still not... No, it's not the not tattoo on the shoulder was just one that around. Osha got. Yeah, just a random tattoo. It's not... But... There is still that weird imprint on the forehead, though. Yeah, that's what um, I'm talking about. Which should be very visible. Should be very obvious. You can yeah. see it a lot of the time. You can see it through her hair most of the time, so... Exactly. <sighs> Oh, wait, is Osha going to wake up fucking shocked and scared again for the fucking 17th time this show? <laughs> I I think it's really powerful. Oh, he's got a pool. He's going to take yeah. her to the jacuzzi, just now, like Harvey Weinstein no. did. Oh, yeah, she got, like, seriously injured in the side because she force pushed her off a ledge. Didn't look like she'd hit anything, but apparently Nice did. CGI wound, too. You making dumplings. I think he stole Kelnaka's grass stew, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's what he was doing there. Oh, wow. Well, he kills Kelnaka, but he's like, man, that is a good stew. <laughs> that's a good yeah. grass stew. This has got to be back uh, at his lair, right? On the, the, the fucking the island we got one the, shot of, yeah. The oh, the island where he made his little speech. If you attack a Jedi with a weapon, you will fail. Yeah, when, and ignite his <laughs> lightsaber for no reason. A little bit of a pose. Steel or laser are no threat to them. An acolyte kills the dream. Oh, it's a little floompy boy. Uh, uh, an the, adorable what? Star Wars critter. I don't know about adorable. Let's uh, let's calm down. Yeah, well. An adorable Star Wars knife. 
my gym shorts. <laughs> okay. And my yeah, boots. Gym, my gym boots. I have a feeling this is going to be a long episode, and I don't mean the time code. Oh, is this Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple planet? Octu. It, it does look Bless like Octu, but I don't. I don't think that's what this is. I feel like it'd be unlikely they use that, but maybe. They I can, I can people, see him doing it. Well, they want to say, remember the, the, the good times during The Last Jedi? The good old <laughs> yeah, days? Getting nostalgic for TL what is, <laughs> what is with the music in this pan out? Yeah, this is just an island. Like, it, yeah, this it's is not an even island. like a bad island. It's just it's, it's an a island. Lofty island, you know. Yeah. I've seen these oh. before. They're not that creepy. <laughs> how yeah, long was like she... islands <laughs> not that creepy? I've how seen long was she passed out? <laughs> an island. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> England, look out! Ah! This very unknown planet. Unknown planet. Oh, okay. I, I can't figure that why, out. Why? Just don't What's, put text Yeah, just don't put there. the just text. Just have no text yeah. instead of telling us it's an unknown planet. They just tap you on the shoulder like, you don't just know where this it. is, by the way. Just keep it, it unknown. You know, don't know what it is? I was going to say, that's such a weird thing to say, because it's like, wait, so the universe does not know? Or the characters are... Like, declaring that they do not know one. what this planet is. I'm pretty sure that Smilo Ren knows what planet it is, what are you, if he's I there. Mean, if, what if an odd choice. The name of it for himself. Is that, like, uh, it's reminding me of, in uh, I think it was Infinity War, where they had space as the... Uh, the meme yeah, for Guardians. Yeah, funny meme. Yeah, it's funny, but th this is like unknown. You're like, oh. Back to oh, Kofar. All right, we haven't left yet. Okay. Okay. Why haven't? Oh, oh, oh here we away. go. Every second right, counts. What's happening? Happens. Moment of truth. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I feel like we wouldn't see them leaving unless something was going yeah. to happen. Yeah. Transmission. Emergency code zero. One communication. Right. Oh, he's oh, doing the con. Shit. He's doing it. Like, oh, 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 sorry. Oh. He's oh, like, uh, oh, oh, my whole team is dead. I appreciate his acting. I'm going to try and point oh, yeah. that out whenever I can. Oh, it's flickering. Has she done something? What's the reason? I really hope that it, she's done something to sabotage it rather than it's just that it's not working. <laughs> Are even going to be a reason? That all knows what's up. He's like, I you hope... don't smell like her, even though she'll be wearing his clothes and she will smell very much like her. Please boost comms and run it. Please boost I, I comms. Really oh my fucking god. Time. I feel like she could have killed him while he was on the ground while she was getting her clothes yep. changed. You it know? really oh, doesn't make way, sense to I kill don't... him now. Take the wheel. I don't like that. I don't like that he says take the wheel. I don't think that idiom is appropriate in this context to develop in Star Wars in this way. Yeah. Take the wheel. Mm. I don't think that yeah. would be. It's very earthy. They would say like, uh, helm. Take the helm. Take take the helm. Or, or even. <laughs> oh shit. Man, he is trying. Yeah. No, I feel bad for the actor. I really do. By the way. This isn't dependent on communications. Uh, the Jedi would have felt, what was it, like eight Jedi dying at all at once? Potentially. Um, Maybe. Is that really potentially? I find it likely that someone yeah. would have felt that. If one of those people had a master they were close to, it's likely that that person could feel them go. We have seen that, obviously, with Yoda in uh, Revenge of the Sith. But Yoda's also really close to a lot of these people that are dying all at once as well. Are we Man, really going to do this? This is a weird tonal shift to have him. Yeah, this, yeah. Really there's out. no way we're like, doing this oh, here's now. A little, here's because a if this, if this his... character was like a real character that could like talk and emote and stuff, that'd be one thing. But he's just been a goofball this whole time. They're playing the goofball music. It's weird to do and goofball like, right stuff when we, yeah, too. just after that. So he really wants to power this up to get information. <laughs> He can't even talk to people. How's he going to talk to that thing? Maybe that thing speaks his language. That's That could be. Or maybe they both speak robot. Yeah, they can communicate. He speaks Tinian, apparently. Why couldn't he just go to Osha, or sorry, to Seoul and give it to Seoul? Like, here. Could he write down stuff? Are they uh, going to rely on waste, him not knowing? Well, let's waste lots of time here, please. Ooh, let's watch the go Sith on. guy get clams. <laughs> He's got scars. <laughs> You want to know how I got these scars? He's going to go take a bath, a Sith bath. What is your plan? Are you going to throw that at him? You think he can't catch it? God, this Careful, is so don't let you know, The longer you wait, the further he gets from you. <laughs> I, I think she might just be a perv at this point. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we got a lot of episode to go through, so this is this oh, is good stuff, man. guys. It's just take your time. You wanna pick up the pace? No. How does it feel? Don't move. What? <laughs> you think? Are, are you in range there? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Lightsaber throw. Your stance is good. Is it? Your stance is good. You should keep your other elbow up higher. What do you mean, my other Which elbow? Think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't established the one we're comparing it to. If you're not going to join me, I'd like to put my clothes back on. Is that an invitation to just get in there and fuck? I think like, so. That... Why not? Hey, so they're all about passions. I'm wondering if it's honorable to kill me like this. Without clothes? She gonna look... Oh, she looked <laughs> at his dick. <laughs> she she did. totally just looked she at did. his dick. She looked at his dick. They wanted to make he sure that we to... noticed that, by the way. It's kind of weird. He needs to commit to having a mustache or not having a mustache. Oh, what? What are you going to do? I'm going to... Yeah. It's not a very threatening. Him from the Jedi Order. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Now, instead of just trying to add the extra gravel. Am I supposed to be your prisoner? Prisoner. You're the one with the weapon. Uh, that doesn't mean she's not a prisoner. If a slave sneaks away and steals a gun, that doesn't. Uh, I don't know why. I'm, why do I bother? Why do I? Why do I bother? It's like one division. Taking an entire town hostage. Well, I'm not the one with the guns, director. Did you kill Saul? No. He taught you the Jedi arts, but he's more to you than that. Please relay more exposition. <laughs> You killed a lot of people. A special relationship, isn't it? Master and pupil. Master and pupil is a good relationship. I would like to have that relationship myself. I don't actually want to kill you she because of words you said it on just right now. There. Could have just turned it on, and he wouldn't have been so able to So I don't know that, that we've been given why much to explain just, why not. It's all that he said, like, hey, that would be kind of bad though, right? And then she just agreed. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's so charismatic. I mean, jeez. An aggressive hug. He corrupted your sister. If you're gonna pretend to be Osha, at least give him a hug back. Like, <laughs> it, 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 Jesus fucking Christ. It's time for me to face the High Council. This episode could have begun with him talking about the truth, but oh well. Oh, yes, <laughs> really? <laughs> what <the> fuck? Really? <laughs> What's happening? They did it twice. Like, if they're showing that like she's doing this, then I can like at least be okay with it. But Do you want to take a look? Give me a couple minutes. Like that first one, it didn't necessarily look like that was her fault that it that the transmission fucked up. Is it? Yeah. Is it too random? That is so lazy. It's so lazy, lazy, lazy. What is it, Mark? He's called Mark. <laughs> Mark. No, he's gay. We received a distress call from Master Soul. I don't think they get back to cars, the guys. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Now there were casualties. Who? The entire team. <laughs> this nerd. If he had a persona, he'd be a beaver. <laughs> Prepare a rescue team to depart for the planet Kofar immediately. Uh, how do you know where he is? I sent him there. Well, we want to go and investigate either way, you retard. I don't... Ah! Uh, every line! You speak as if you were a Jedi. I was. He's someone's apprentice. Gonna Soul's first apprentice. Rookie. I've never heard of you. Something you would have heard of every Jedi? It was a really long time ago. It was a really long time ago. They like, doesn't look that old. Writing anything substantive is a radioactive concept to the people who make this. If you keep me here, Soul comes to you. And his strength in the Force is very powerful. And then as soon as a question gets posed that could be interesting, somebody just walks away from the other person. Yeah. You think that his strength, that's your strength in the Force, Osha. I was talking about a different person. That doesn't even make sense. I'd start swimming if you want to make it to the ship before sundown, or you could wait for the tide to go out. Doing the meme, he's like, you're he not doesn't have to, she doesn't. Leave. She just has to swim to that little part there. It's actually not really, she probably, she wouldn't even need to swim. You could just walk to the, yeah, you just walk Fuck there. Fuck, I would go. go. I yeah. would definitely go. Yeah, walk, go, go, oh, go, 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 go. You need to leave. This guy's a murderer, crazy, psychopath, lunatic. Okay. Oh, well. we're already Snap back. Snap Yord's neck. I Snap know. Yord's yeah, neck. Yeah, Little Jackie. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, if she left, she'd take his, presumably the only transportation. Then she could go and get people and yep. be like, yeah, he's here on this planet. Here are the coordinates. Go get him, boys. And in exchange, you're not going to like, you know. Da, da, da. <laughs> I mean, oh God. don't do this. Uh, Fucking kill this piece of shit, please. Do this. What We're doing funny. What the fuck is happening? Okay. That, I wouldn't have heard. Would. No. They don't have steel toed boots in space. Dude, come on. You, I think he did it out of the maintenance section of the ship. It wasn't like. Does the like, robot? Does the robot understand she could just break him? Reset me to factory settings. Oh, she just killed oh, him. They're resetting wow. him to factory defaults like a fucking iPhone. Yeah, she just killed him. Yeah, she just killed him like C-3PO got killed. Factory <laughs> default is red, and Osha set it to white. 
that one yeah, I saw. I well, that so. depends on if it's evil or good. It's like the yeah. robot in Kenobi, the yeah, little one that flew. Yeah, now that it flew. belongs to evil, was red. it's evil. Why is factory default red? Can you run a check on the power system? Apple Wait, she just said, can you run a check on the... So she hasn't been sabotaging it. It's just happened. It's just happening. It's just late. Just said, that's why I said lazy, lazy, lazy. I thought they were going to reveal to us that she'd been tinkering with it. These creatures can't move. Stop trying to pretend that they can. They can hop around <laughs> on their little legs. And they also can use their snout as an appendage to bounce around like a tripod. Exactly. Ah, I see. Without training, it fades. And that's what they told you. That's just normal. Well, that's just everything. Yeah, the less you do with it, the less you're familiar with the thing. You don't do anything for a thing. long time. Yeah, it fades away. But there is another way. Bad writing. <laughs> Below the surface of consciousness are powerful emotions. Anger. Fear, loss. Those are conscious. conscious. Of those. Yeah, those how are far, very conscious. How far the episode gonna go with this? We're we gonna get the most surface of surface. I wonder. That's the path to the dark side. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Semantics. No, you killed a lot of people. Okay, now keep talking. <laughs> you're like you're like a hyper murderer, bro. You murdered my friends. There you go. You yeah, murdered my friends. Yeah, there you go. You killed Yord, a man who didn't hesitate to turn you in. For a crime you didn't commit. Well, they were going to well, have they, a trial. He they was taking they, they freed her as soon as. Of a crime. Yeah. yeah, they freed her as soon as the information reflected she was innocent. He let her keep the gun and everything. Yeah. Wait. I trusted her. You killed Jackie. And where did you think that was going to go? Why do you love people who can only go so far? Is that implying that there was actually like a little romantic feeling towards her and Jackie? That, those lines right there? I think so, yeah. So talking about Fuck. what future they could have had. I mean, they, they had such a great relationship off screen, so. I'm not my sister. I'm not that easily corrupted. Yeah. Apparently you are. We'll see. You're already like, pretty guy, chill with him. That's all we got. Remember, he's unarmed, even though you can kill anybody at any time. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, keys, phone, wallet. ID. What's the My point of yeah. recognizing someone is armed or unarmed if it has nothing to do with their potential to kill? You stayed here to do something. Do it. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. He's do evil. It. Kill him. He's evil. Kill him. Kill him. He's evil. Yes, kill him. Do it. Kill that man. Stab him. Turn it on. A Jedi doesn't attack the unarmed. Saying that cringy line, unarmed. it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just something they invented as well. You're never unarmed. You have telekinesis, mind powers, and you can snap necks. He's a neck snapper. We watched it happen to poor Yord. He killed the Yord horde. This anger, this pain, this is who you are. It's a part of me. And that's why they threw you away. They didn't throw me away. Because I left. Man, he's really getting to her after a few seconds. They failed! Oh, God. <laughs> How are you gonna kill him? You're you have to, you have to tilt kinda him. awkward to yeah. <laughs> I lost everything. Did the Jedi take everything from you, buddy? Yeah, did they kill all your family and kick your dog? <laughs> did they take your grass soup? So Wow, we're really shitty. speed running speed running this yeah. relationship, aren't we? They got no time okay. to not have them get Zero them to place. sentences of elaboration. Yeah. It's so <laughs> funny. You spend five minutes with a Sith and you're basically already turned. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's how dangerous they are. Yeah, they're really dead. No wonder the Jedi have a job to do here, yeah. Mog. Mog! He's called yes, Mog. Yes, Mog. <laughs> they call him Mog because he's weird. <laughs> His name was Steven. They're like, we're calling you Mog from now on. We're calling you Mog. <laughs> I'm sure that these casualties are due to the planet's uncharted environment. What the fuck is what? wrong with him? We got a message where the whole team was killed on this mission to go get somebody, and he's like, no, don't go check it out. Is he like a plant? Is he a Sith? <laughs> no, I understand why he's I thought Mog. you meant, is he a plant? Just like a house plant? <laughs> he acts a plant would be smarter. <laughs> Are we really not done? The whole the whole episode is bullshit. This is a waste as fuck. Bullshit. Basil thinks she's evil, right? And she knows that. So shouldn't she assume she's, she's compromised? Just him li yeah, I would kill that motherfucker and put him in a closet. How could I not have sensed that villain's true intentions? It would be clever if Sol knew all along and he's acting like he doesn't know and then he I'll has only to like that if her later. He does not get fucked over by her. You see what you want to see. He fooled us all. Hmm, maybe they are trying to give away that he knows. I had to lose a lot of myself in order to become a Jedi. Did you? Could you tell us about that? What parts? Have you told me everything that happened on Brendok? This was what I thought the episode was gonna be, was talking about what happened on that stupid planet. And how far are we in? Near the end of the episode, probably? You can tell me. All right, this is t this can be this. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Never mind, we're doing that later. Hello, is anybody there? Can you hear me? Why is she so obsessed with getting communications? My name is... <laughs> Well, okay. Guess he knew. Well, but why was that the time to knock her out? Basil, Basil told him. Basil told him. Oh, so he Basil didn't know. Knew. It was just the Basil told him. Where's the lame. tattoo? It wasn't there. But it she didn't even be. account. My idea for... Yeah, was the, they didn't even do the tattoo reveal. Yeah, what the fuck? Leave your transponder off. What? Uh, Hold on. Why? Um, why? Don't do this. I'm very confused. 
Where the fuck are you going? Oh, where are you going, dude? What's happening? Did you have coordinates locked in someplace? It looks like you just punched on the. Oh, really? Oh, what the oh, fuck? Really? No, the okay. fuck you away! They're in the yeah, outer sure, rim! <laughs> They're in the <laughs> outer <laughs> rim! That took them like second, 30 minutes! By a second! Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> also, on the joking. almost exact they same put, spot, too. Oh. They put fucking time frames on that shit. When Mog told Vernestra, he said it'll take like 20 minutes to until we leave. Our team is ready to and we depart in 20. So they were sitting on that fucking thing for maybe half an hour. Seems an Umbramoth colony hatched last night and wreaked havoc on a local settlement. The Jedi had been anywhere near that colony. They're gonna try and frame Sol, aren't they? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Why isn't Sol invested in- He was invested in telling them what oh. happened and now he's not. Is now his new mission to go find where Osha is or something? Unless he's trying to actually like actively hide something, there's no reason for him not to tell them what he's doing. Is he evil? Is that what's going on? He seemed invested and he surely knows the nature of getting this information out. And he had everything on a plate. Can you give the same pitch to my sister? I thought she wanted more than just revenge. More than just revenge. He's working on his little smile mask, fixing it up. He shouldn't even have. Soul should have that. Very convenient. He needed that part of his robe. Where'd you get that scar? How do you think I got it? Ah, uh, you fell a a, a a skiing accident? He was betrayed. Oh, Looks like someone stabbed you in the back. Someone who threw me away. He was thrown away by the Jedi rags. Don't think that's what it looks like when you get stabbed in the back, by the way. He got slashed in the back, but in a like a curvy way and then it came oh, back down. Like lightsaber a lightsaber whip. whip. Yeah. Kurtosis. Handy against lightsabers, but also a sensory deprivation headpiece. Like we used as younglings. Oh wait, all the younglings wear that? Oh, is that what you can read their minds? Okay, uh, so so um, all the younglings use it for practice and you don't make armor out of that? They're talking about, you know, the helmets that they had on them in Attack of the Clones when Obi-Wan walks in. They're not Kurtosis, Those aren't Kurtosis, but just, they block so out. So you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar to the uh I will say it's a little confusing that, though because I thought that that was his way of explaining why you can't read people's minds if they have the helmets on. Where's she gonna put it on and say, I want to be what, what, Smilo? What? <laughs> She's gonna turn well, it upside down know. and I am Crowno Rim. Oh, hey, Jackie. Please show Yord with his cracked neck. I want to see Yord with his head on sideways. It's so funny with how they're allowing information to trickle out. They just won't... The thing that should have happened by now is the full information should be- oh, there he is. Full information should have been given to everybody, but for some reason, Soul is acting ridiculously out of character. And so now, these guys only have pieces. So I, they can I, go I, and misconstrue I, those pieces. They had two different delays on their communications Dude. to prevent them, but now I don't know what they're doing. Stop with the dramatical, like, sound effect stings. I know what <laughs> happened. Them. She's sensing it's... it through the Force, Theo. Watch out! Why wouldn't Vanestra have felt this? Hey, there it is. Wow, that's cringe. That's yeah, yeah, oh, it the even worst goes thing I've ever seen. You don't think Master Soul was responsible? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. What nonsense. Who else would possess the power to slay such a strong group? I feel like they've actually pointed now to Vanestra being the Smilerman's master. Not necessarily Maybe. evil, just that she was a, the master. Potentially like uh, a bad Jedi master. The lightsabers weren't taken or anything like that, so they weren't like investigation stuff they could have done. We should prepare these bodies for burial. That line about burial the bodies was ADR, by the way. They didn't do that uh, in the first time around, they, but they recognize like, funny. oh fuck, two instances of us not giving a shit about the corpses. You can pry, you can pull your hand through that. Man, that's, this is that's this always, is the last that's scene. Always, huh? He's gonna say, "I'll tell you what happened." And then oh my gonna... god! <laughs> I have no intention of harming you, May. Where's Osha? No, we, we gotta do it way slower than that, Rex. We have a lot to do. We need to save Osha. You and I are going to talk. Oh my god, that is glacial. It's not just slow, it's slow and we're learning nothing. I've had 16 years to think about what I would say to you if I ever got the opportunity. Like, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's slow without substance. Oh, is it done? Oh, one okay. more, one oh, more. One more. Oh, please, please put it put on, on and breathe. Milo mask. Yeah, put it on, Milo. Put it on. Do oh. it. Become, Become the, Smilo. the Smilo. Touch it and get a flashback of memory. Oh, this is a oh, planet it's a where it's or that's a vein. That is a vein of Cortosis, yeah. That's a uh, hyper valuable, that vein right that's there. Insanely valuable, yeah. That's interesting. How long is this before? 130 years. Man? Okay, that's worrisome. Come on, put, <laughs> put it, it on. Yeah. Put it on, do Coward, it. do it. Do then it. Breathe like do Vader. It. Breathe like do Vader. Oh, they didn't show like... her putting oh. it on. <laughs> Breathing, yes. Oh, that looks silly. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a, looks so... a little boy wearing oh a mask. Oh my god. Yes. This is this is Star Wars. Star Wars.
incredible. How does he see <laughs> with that? Oh, wait, how does he see through the little eye slits? They, if he can't well, use the it was defined because of sensory one, deprivation. Right? Dude, so, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I no, if it's sensory deprivation, then he can't like sense the force through it, can he? No, it's no, sensory but, deprivation. Like, you're, you're, so you're it's five senses. Divorced. That was uh they that call that flooding. an episode wow, of TV. That was worthless. Thirty. I thought that was an episode. This, this is designed to keep people interested and to tell them a story. That's what this is supposed to be. Isn't that crazy? They they don't know how to do it. They actually can't fathom how to construct an episode of television. It's crazy. That is. We just wild. needed to so, contrive essentially they, um, for fifteen minutes why they couldn't leave the planet, only to leave as soon as the other Jedi arrived to then create a suspense of yeah. It was kind of the worst version of, the of what we expected. Of soul, you know. If he's the bad guy, and then it's just those two walking around on the unknown planet, talking about vague like philosophy relating to the Jedi and the Sith, and then she's probably going to become evil or something. They did what we said, though, the uh, crackly, sprackly communications, and then the communications just outright stopped working entirely. The whole ship went down. By the time it went back up, and Sol had the chance to say directly what happened, to report it all to the Jedi. He's like, no, I want to have a moment with May. Which Do you is think that's fucking worse nuts than to me. what you were expecting? Because it was yes. twice. Well, because like, not only did they do it twice, which was my low expectation, but still the one that I thought they would do, they then gave up. They were like, fuck it, he just doesn't. I need more more of the show to be able to properly explain my issue because I need to know what they're going to argue his motivation is. Is he so desperate to talk to May about what happened on the lesbian planet that uh, he's willing to prevent the Jedi Order from knowing about this Sith? Or like, does he think that if they send all the Jedi in, Osha will get killed with him? I, I don't understand how you would make the determination from telling everybody what happened to we, we got to keep this quiet and do it ourselves. Just me and May. It would be safe to assume the next episode is going be the flashback now because both sides yes. are set up yep. to experience to something right and is the point going to be that one of them has grown up hating the jedi and she'll find out the nuance of the situation while the other one grew up kind of liking the jedi and will understand that they failed in that you know what i mean turning them both yeah. and then they'll think isn't that clever we flipped their allegiances like just like that instantly well, yeah that was but truly pathetic the uh the five scenes with Smilo to convince her to just not be antagonistic toward the man who broke the net. What was his excuses for those? When she was like, you killed Yord, he's like, he arrested you for something that you didn't do. And then she moved on to Jackie, and then it was like, you think you were gonna, like, be friends with her? And that was it. Those were his <laughs> <laughs> This is what I mean by pathetic. It's like, first and foremost, <laughs> Yord was just doing his job. It does seem like he seriously thinks that it's basically all downstream from they are antagonistic to the Sith, so that gives me the right to kill every single one of them. And she seems to buy it somewhat. Yeah, she's which totally Totally Which along is for the particularly ride. strange when she saw all of that play out in front of her eyes, like all of these Jedi dead. And yeah, it's, she it's came like to a... the planet with them. Their mission was explicit. They were, they were trying to get to Kelnaka, who got killed, and then they Stop all got the killed. They... Smiler and tried to kill her, and Soul saved yeah. her. She didn't even bring that up. Yeah. It's really frustrating to watch them think that they're doing a meaningful exploration of the ideology of the Jedi and the Sith, when basically you're just relying on really dumb characters not saying obvious retorts to each other. We need a we need a Simpsons reference for Ian, and I got the perfect one. You know when he says, ship's just over there, you could go swim, you can you can leave. He's trying to do his like zen sort of, uh, I'm here to offer you insight, but you know what? You can leave whenever you want, not a prisoner. I think if she had started swimming over there, he would have, it would have been like Mr. Burns when he says, here's a phone, call someone who cares. And then they start typing, uh, <laughs> yeah, put it in yeah, 999, yeah, and then he goes, nah, yeah. stop. <laughs> if she had started swimming <laughs> yeah, over, he would have been like, no. I was thinking of a different reference. Do you remember like the anthology episode where it was um Chief Wick him and Skinner in like New Orleans as private detectives. Yeah, yeah. And then they did like the boat chase, and then the bad guy just jumped into the river and slowly swam away yeah. as they walked <laughs> very, very slowly moving away. I don't believe for a second he would be okay with her leaving. And she, she, especially with his lightsaber and his just... only ship to get on and off the planet. He's exactly. so full of what shit. Like did. if she did leave, immediately tell people where he is, he would obviously be upset about that because it would offer a bit more about this character. Smiler is it? So she swims and she gets to the other side, stands up, and he's just standing there already like, I can't let you leave. Like, actually. I was hoping you would. <laughs> or he just, like, force pulls her out of the fucking water yeah. or something like that. It's insane how little was said and how little progress we made in this episode. It really does feel like the, uh, which one of them ends up evil or good and who they kill 
is all the writers have got, and so they know they just got to stretch that over the uh, the eight episodes. Who are these characters that basically like one conversation, one scene will instantly flip their motivations to like the yeah. opposite side? The the thing that's becoming very apparent with Osher and May is they don't really have much conviction at all. May immediately decided, "Now nah, I'm done with this acolyte thing." As soon as she found out that Osher was alive and was like, "Oh, I'm just going to turn myself in. I'm done with that," like instantly. So seemingly no principled opposition to the Jedi or much consideration for all of the other people, part of her family who died, that she thinks the Jedi was responsible for. And then Osha can like barely make arguments for why she thinks the Jedi are good, other than the most basic ones possible, even though she trained with them for years. Why is it so easy to like erode your central motivations and beliefs like in one day? Even on a more visceral level than principles and convictions, like could you maybe try and sell as an actress that like uh. supposedly friends and people you care about were killed in front of your eyes and they're dead and this is the guy who killed them could we maybe attempt to begin to try and convince me that you're like a human being she's it been is, pretty uh, bad he stole you from us my sister is dead attack me jedi because i failed you lie hey that really sucked and it's interesting because it's like oh it's a dual role so you know like playing people who are very different but i mean they're both incredibly flat and especially when you compare it to soul who in that one scene that's probably like the only scene in this episode that i like him basically standing there in silence for about 30 seconds running through a range of emotions and it's just an actor basically doing their job to the best of their ability but then to follow it up with Basil going around doing his shit what were you thinking? It's then a setup to him pointing out to a direct like why did he run up to her to let her know he thinks she's evil and then not tell Soul immediately instead rummage around the ship and then why is she not being like oh shit so I'm on a ticking clock now what's the point of her like sabotaging and, and killing the uh the droid if she's gonna get captured straight away way anyway or is it going to be that the droid will be secretly working in the background was... to get her out of her locks and then she's going to fight soul and win and get away why set up the tattoo i yeah. don't know why they set up the tattoo when they didn't do anything with it you're right maybe it'll be later when may finally confronts uh, smile yeah, again again may maybe like a which one do i shoot situation <laughs> and then it's like look the tattoo <laughs> it feels like nothing we couldn't have figured out from the first two episodes if i'm generous has actually taken place we got a tiny little tease of more of uh, of the Sith of Chimer that he was a Jedi at one point. He says it was a really long time ago, but he doesn't look that old. So again, I, I don't know a what's lot going of these on there. things don't feel like substance. They feel like stuff we could have interpreted. Even from that final scene of Episode One, we could have said to us, "I was like, oh, he's probably like an ex-Jedi. He's familiar with their teachings and stuff." Do we think that the flashback is going to take up the whole of Episode Seven? And if so, that means we only got one episode to wrap up. What I have to assume is like a variety. I mean, that power of two things got to come to a conclusion, right? Is it going to be like Osha? And may reunite and then they tap into like a new aspect of the force or something and beat smile around. I got, honestly i got nothing i don't know what they're gonna do in yeah. the last episode i know it's funny to say considering how much time has been wasted but we are running out of time to wrap this up especially if the next episode is gonna hey man, be she wants a season two back, okay so the rest does she want a season two for yeah, this the rest of the story will happen there oh shit okay well then in that case then yeah whatever anything could happen i have no idea i thought that this was one and done i would not be surprised if uh they bait a bigger, spookier Sith with no identification. Oh, just yeah, no, he, he's one hundred percent. They're gonna do that. Like Ron Ren with a big old frown but, on his face. Frown in, in one of the interviews out there, Leslie Headland said that two Sith lords will appear in this season. Oh, so, so that'll be the first the other one. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Well, if it's people that we've seen as of right now, Vernestra is like up there in terms of if you had to pick somebody that has appeared already of who was the Sith Lord, it would probably be her. But I just don't think they're gonna go that way with her. Although. Could be there might be a connection. There might be a connection between Vernestra and Chimere with the wound think, that think, he had on him. Yeah, and the fact that we know of, he um, had a master at one point. She had a lot of expressions in the when she was walking around, and and the guy said when he said it could be Soul that did all of it. She said something. Uh, That's a big accusation to make. Well, there's that, but she also said something like something to tip the scales. It was very mysterious. Well, yeah, I, I could that, believe oh, that this was her is. apprentice. He fucked off, and now she's like, oh god, he's back and he's doing mean things. Whether that, she's that's, secretly that's evil is another that. thing. I don't know, but she's not secretly evil. She's just evil by incompetence. Oh yeah, well uh, that's everyone. She's the one that's been, <laughs> the the one that's been hiding. Unfortunately, like it's so annoying. Soul is is such an awful person in a lot of ways, but the actor is just pulling me back. You know, what's sustaining a show like this for the people who like it in earnest is the same thing that sustains a lot of the Disney Plus, like Marvel and Star Wars television shows, which is that uh, it's all essentially constructed to keep you in the dark. Like, oh, I wonder what's gonna 
to happen next episode. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh, look at that ending for this episode. That's exciting. But then once it's all said and done and the answers are revealed and they're always unsatisfying, once you lay it all out without, oh, what's going to happen? And then getting on Twitter and, and on Reddit and like engaging in all of the speculation about what's going to happen and, and how important the show is. Once everything's revealed, you realize that it was really bad and really a waste of time. <laughs> Media hardtack. No, hardtack sustains you. I uh, guess so. It gives, it gives you life. It lasts. It's got staying power. You know, empty media calories. I don't know. You know, this is like uh, like spoiled milk doesn't sustain you. It doesn't last very long. You'd rather be drinking anything else. It um, feels a little like if this the acolyte were on a DVD of the season, and then there's a secret little thing. If you press right, right, right on the controller, you press play, and they introduce this as this is a bunch of bonus footage that didn't make it into the show. So yeah, we you cut know, all this because we found it was just super. <laughs> I still can't believe that they had Soul take off into hyperspace and the other Jedi appear like <laughs> a second funny. fucking second later. later. They introduced so many things that can give you a time frame. This guy calls in. It looks like Mog goes straight to Vernestra and tells her, hey, go prep a team. I don't know how long passes after that, but they meet each other next. It's like, hey, we're leaving 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go with you. While all this shit is happening on the ship, the power goes out and May's like, hey, give me a few minutes to find this. Fucks it with Basil. Has Pip run a diagnostic and the power will be up in a few minutes. So we're talking about a half hour to an hour of time and these motherfuckers get from Coruscant to the outer rim of the galaxy. It's a small it makes galaxy. No fucking That's what sense. we're learning. This is consistent. It's a very tiny place. It's very small. You know, it's very cozy. Acolyte episode six. See you later, everybody. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Fuck this show. What if I reset you to factory settings? I am alive! Hello! What'd you bring me?